Sometimes at French bakeries or bistros or boulangerie, you'll find these beautiful boules of bread that were baked, shaped, and they feature these gorgeous designs on the outside like, say, wheat sheets. And they were formed in what's called a banneton. And Adam's here, he's gonna tell us why we should use bannetons and what they do. It is all about gluten relaxation, Ooh. Bridget. When you use a banneton, you have shaped your dough one last time before you're getting ready to bake and it's proofing that last rest period. What happens then is the gluten is gonna relax and the bread can spread a little bit, mm. get a little bit sloppy. If you put it in a banneton, that will help it retain its shape. You can use a banneton either with or without a liner. If you use it without a liner, what you get is the imprint of the banneton on the crust of mm. the loaf like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a super easy way to decorate. If you use it with a liner, it gives you the chance to do more of your own decorative scoring. You don't have the pattern of the material on there so that you can score it any way you want and get any kind of decoration you want. We chose this lineup of five different banetons in different materials. They come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. We chose nine inch round banetons, and that's good for a loaf that weighs up to a kilo or 2.2 pounds. Okay. They come in a variety of materials. If they had a liner, great. If they didn't, but it was available separately, we bought it separately. So the price range was $16 to $36. Mm. And we tested these with at least five loaves at different levels of hydration, low hydration, medium, and high hydration, because they're gonna stick differently. And yes. we were looking for the pattern and we were looking for release. We don't want these loaves to stick in there that well. Different materials all had pros and cons. The one in front of you, that's plastic. The plastic stuck like crazy. All but the lowest hydration doughs just clung onto that plastic. So you could use a liner, but then you don't get the nice pattern of the plastic. So you have fewer options for decoration. I just will stick with a colander at that point. Exactly. And a colander and that are both easy to clean because you can just chuck them into the dishwasher. Sure. These other ones are natural materials, so you have to clean them a little mm. more carefully. Right. The second one in front of you, that's wicker. That one has the liner attached to it. You can so see the you, stitching. Yeah, you have no choice but to use the liner here. <laughs> you know, if you want to score your own loaf, that's great. If you want to pick up the pattern of the wicker, not so great. I see. This one is made of wood pulp. And this one really released doughs beautifully. The wood pulp absorbs a little bit of the surface moisture mm. from the crust, so it released well. Of course, we season them with a flour mixture, rice flour and wheat flour. But these are generally used without a liner. So it's great. If you want the pattern from the wood pulp, right. you're good to go. If you want to use a liner and do your own scoring, not great. These two are both made from rattan, which is sometimes called cane. Very common material to use for a banneton. You can use it either without a liner or with the liner. Okay. We bought the liner. The first couple of doughs stuck in these without the liner, but once it picked up that seasoning from the rice and wheat flour mix, the sticking was not really a problem. And because you can use it either way, you have a lot of decoration options. So this was our favorite one. This is the Breadtopia round bread proofing basket for the liner and the banneton, $19. They come as a set, worked really well. They're also available in different shapes and sizes. Very exciting, thanks Adam. Well, if you want to take your bread baking to the next level, why not give a banneton a try? Our winner is the Breadtopia round bread proofing basket and liner. The set is $19. Looking for kitchen inspiration on the go? Check out the America's Test Kitchen mobile app. Cook with confidence and take our recipes, reviews, and more wherever you go. Access thousands of fail-proof recipes, equipment reviews, how-to videos, and full episodes of our TV shows. With smart searching, favorites, and other tools, it's your ultimate kitchen companion. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes, 
and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I asked, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.